Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and it is Thursday. What do we do every Thursday? We look at the best online ammo prices. Now we look at the six most popular rifle calibers, the six most popular pistol calibers, and try to find what in the world's going on in the ammo market. Where, where, what are the best prices? Now this is for academic purposes. There's a spreadsheet in the description should you choose to look at it. We're going to go over it. Now we've been doing this since October of 2020. You're going to be doing it a while longer. And one way we do do this is using Ammo Seek. Now, Ammo Seek does not encompass everything, but does give us a pretty good idea of what in the world's going on in the ammo market. And one cool thing about Ammo Seek is they do keep track of percentages of what people are looking for, depending on what's going on. Hey, it determines what the percentages are. Always interesting to see what like the last like four or five are on the list because those fluctuate pretty weekly. Um, you know, some things that were on the list are not on the list anymore if they're in that lower tier. Uh, the stuff that usually at the top of the list is always on the list, just kind of where is it. Uh, the other interesting thing, uh, I found another website that was similar to AmmoSeek and uh, buy, or AmmoBuy.com, and they have handgun ammo and all the other stuff, but they keep track of uh, what it is. Um, was it better than AmmoSeek? I don't think so. I think AmmoSeek was a little bit better in most respects. I did kind of look at everything. There was one thing where uh, Ammo Seek wasn't as good as something from uh, AmmoBuy.com, but uh, for the most part, Ammo Seek was better. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let me zoom in here for you people who have uh, older eyes and uh, yeah, not make you work as hard. We're going to talk about our uh, the ammo this week. So 556 as at 41 cents a shot. That is down two cents from last week. 223 is at 41 cents a shot as well. That is no change from last week. 762 by 39, 34 cents a shot. No change from last week. 762 by 51 is at 63 cents a shot. No change from last week. 22 long rifle is at 7 cents a shot. Now, I am rounding up here. It is slowly getting closer to 6 cents a shot, but until it hits actually 6 cents a shot, I'm not willing to say it's 6 cents. Uh, I round it up, so it's seven cents a shot, but it is much closer to six cents than it is uh, seven cents. So there you go. Three hundred blackout is at fifty-five cents a shot. No change from last week. Thirty-eight special is at thirty-nine cents a shot. That is no change from last week. Three fifty-seven magnum is down by four cents this week. Um, so that is good at fifty-three cents a shot. Forty Smith and Wesson is at thirty cents a shot. That is down one cent from last week. 40, uh, 45 um, is at 41 cents a shot. That is no change from last week. 380 is at 32 cents a shot. No change from last week. And 9mm brass is at 26 cents a shot. No change from last week. I do need to go ahead and hit the sum function. Let's see where we're at. And we are at $4.62 is the sum for this week. And that puts us down 7 cents from last week. Overall, good week. Not some big changes overall, but uh, some slow changes in a particular calibers. On to our specialty calibers. If you have requests, please throw it in the comments or email me directly. Uh, happy to consider it. If it seems like there's enough market for it, hey, maybe we'll start keeping track of it. 10 millimeter is at 46 cents a shot. No change from last week. 357 sig is at 60 cents a shot. That is up four cents from last week. 12 gauge 8 shot is at 34 cents a shot. That is no change from last week. And 12 gauge 5 shot is at 44 cents a shot. No change from last week. Now, you shotgun guys, hey, it's summer right now, but it's going to start hitting fall and winter. And for those of you who enjoy shotgun shooting in the fall or winter or hunting like that, um, I don't know if you want to go back and look at the prices, but they were pretty outrageous uh, during peak season. So now may be the time to look in and buying enough boxes so you can uh, do whatever recreational sp sport shooting you want to do this summer or this uh, fall and uh, winter for uh, shotgun shooting. Don't like the prices, but it could get worse, I promise. 762 by 54R is at 55 cents a shot. No change from last week. Uh, spam cans, man, those are really hard to find. Not seeing them at any major distributors right now. So if you happen to find one on the secondary market, maybe worth picking up, especially if you can get it for a good price. 9mm steel ammunition is at 27 cents a shot. No change from last week. 30 super carry is at 42 cents a shot. No change from last week. 
Uh, 5.45 by 39 is at 45 cents a shot. No change from last week. And 223 steel is at 40 cents a shot. So 223 steel versus 223 brass. Uh, brass is 41, steel is 40, so one cent shot difference between brass and steel. Pretty depressing. And uh, 9 millimeter steel is at 27 cents, and 9 millimeter brass is at 26 cents. So again, brass is cheaper than steel. I, I know it's clown world, guys. What can I say? Uh, it doesn't make any sense, but that's where we're at. Um, any other thoughts on ammo this week? No. I mean, if you need to buy some ammo, buy some ammo. Uh, that is probably what I'm going to do this month. I, um, you know, I've been buying calibers when they've gone on sale with free shipping and, uh, maybe a coupon here or there. And if I can find a website that won't charge me tax, it's at least better. Um, but it is, it is hard to find a good deal for ammo. It's more of what are you willing to bear and pay? Um, so if I find some deals for ammo, I may do that. Uh, there's also a Ruger uh, 2245 lightweight model that I'm looking into, but man, those are through the roof too. So uh, who knows? Maybe I'll just sit on my cash and wait for a great deal to pop up. Who knows? Anyway, this is the Mad Marine signing off. Wishing you all a good one.